Okie dokie. This is a fun day. We're going to do a Cosmo from November 1987 One Magazine collage. Look at the bangs. Oh my goodness. That's a great face. So pretty. I love her. Susie Lucci. Susan Lucci. She's a very pretty woman. Is this Jordash? It's Jordash. Oh, look. I'm going to have to make more than one. But we're going to have to find some Tommies. We're going to have to find all kinds of stuff. Anna's Anini. Okay. These are really pretty. Lauren. Oh, my gosh. For a Cosmo, there's a Andy McDowell. I feel like we've already found, like, Five things we can do. Benson and Hedges, my friend. I never smoked Benson's and Hedges. The one I didn't smoke, but my friend did. I had that jacket. Oil of Olay. Fun. Corbell. Corbell's still around, I think. Ooh, that could be a tummy. Let's put a pin in that one. That feels like a good tummy. Uh, I like when I have a whole cup. Whole cups make excellent tummies. There's some long legs. Pantyhose for men? Is he... Um, this is very progressive for it to be a... I don't think that that's, I think that's, I don't think those are for men. <laughs> that's 1987. Okay. All right. Oh. Wow, so many great eyes. Great legs, great long legs. Huh. Ooh, somebody wrote on this. But we have these really cool long legs. And we could have a yellow tummy. Are we doing this? Oh, hold on. We got to see. Let's do this. We're going to do one of them on here. So that would take up a good portion. That's a that's a lot. That's a lot. Naked man. That could be a tummy. The ones that I say could be a tummy could also be a hat. They're kind of interchangeable. But that's pretty. Cocaine lies. Liz. Liz. <gasps> That's cute. That's a phone. My talking telephone. Interesting. <gasps> There's those weird little watches again. I do not remember those. If you remember when they had those little watches, I never wore watches on my fingers. And this is 87. I would have been in college. I was very cutting edge. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is for a border. I like everything about that. I could even make it the top and the bottom board. Okay. <laughs> now I did curl my hair a lot. Ooh, those are fun eyes. Okay. I love her eyes. We're going to use those because they're pointed sideways, looking at something. Who didn't do this? What is this, tapes? Is this tapes? Tapes or records, not even DVDs.
I, I kind of love the telltale signs. Is there anything on here? Uh, I like the dice. I could have the dice and the signs. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, girls on blankets. Those could be good borders. Hottier. Napier is hottier. It was that time when we all wanted to be hottier. Hold on, let me move this. Because I remember from last time, it did make a little reflection. That should make it better for you. Okay, here we go. Can I use this gal? They're about the same size. I want somebody's head who's a trifle smaller. Just a little bit. Uh, Toyota? Pantyhose. Man, pantyhose used to be a real thing you had to do. I live in Florida. We do not wear pantyhose. Oh, peach tree. Oh, I didn't drink peach tree cream, but I definitely drank regular peach tree. Hmm. I smoke Virginia Slims. Faux show. Sure. Well, I kind of feel like we don't have anything. <laughs> I have some eyes. That's it. I lost my place. Oh, I have a background. Big legs. Look at that. There's another little guy. He's cute. Gotta get a gun. There's a party. Do we want to have a little party? All from that. Southern Comfort. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so let's break this down. This for sure could be a good tummy. This could be a good tummy. We're going to take this out. I'm going to have a selection of tummies. Look at that. That's very helpful. Okay. So now, ooh, that's very eth ethereal. Would that go with this? Uh, I feel like it could. I'm gonna use, as long as there's nothing super exciting, we're gonna use that as the border of at least one. I don't know if I'm doing more than one, but I'm doing one for sure. Some big hair. Salon selectives. Keeping the female form under control. Oh my goodness. How about we just let the female form be whatever it wants to be? Okay, those, that. Those would be bigger, good bigger eyes, but not good smaller head. Oh, Nuriev, Brishnikov. Oh, it's getting this. This has been a little bit damaged. 
This is a huge book. Holy crap, holy, we aren't even close to the end yet. Okay, let me just kind of flip through. Oh, there were a lot more ads back then, but I could use a hat. I could use a body. I could use, oh, I love Amaretta Disrona. <gasps> Look at that face. Hold on. One of the gals said she smoked satin cigarettes. I'll have to see if I can find her. That is creepy. How did they think that this would help sell tea? But that teacup could be a good tummy or a hat. Oh, that's our hat. Okay. That's a cute hat. Weird. Kind of. I don't get that as a advertisement and I'm in advertising, so I don't care. <gasps> Weird, terrifying power. That can make a good border. The nanny. So we have a hat, some eyes. Look, this is already a collage. What are they doing taking over my spot? Okay. Okay, there's some food. Not very good food. The food blogger girls have made everybody up their game with their food pictures. Criticism. How to give it, how to take it. How about we just don't criticize people? How about we all let everybody be themselves? Ooh, that's a cute, cute shoes, cute legs. Okay, let's see. What are we doing with for, for the body? We have maybe these guys for the body. It's not very big. I have concerns. I need maybe a little bit smaller for that piece of paper. How about her with these eyes? Eh, still, their faces are too big. And I feel like I'm in the wrinkly part of the book. Let's go back to the front of the book where things were less wrinkly. Martha Langley, cover girl. We could use Susan Lucci with these fun eyes. Cool. So we've got eyes. We've got a background for sure. We have a hat. Where'd the other part of the background go? Oh, there it is. Background, background. I think I just like booze. Okay. So, here's another face we could use. We just need some eyes for her. She has a very big head. A very long head. So, let's find her some eyes. Those are too big. Too big. Too big. Is there a lady right here? I feel like she has kind of squinty eyes, but I could fix them. Okay, let's do that. Boop, those girls go together. Ish. Ish, ish, ish. Where'd that tummy go? I had a tummy. 
I need some friends. I need some stuff. I could use, oh, I have purple, I have purple border. I have per, I, I think I have the borders kind of down. I could use some more fancy stuff. How about those? Veils. Oh, there's the tummy. All right, so we're going to use this as a tummy or a hat. I need some legs, but I need some legs that aren't quite that big. So how about some legs and some arms? I feel like all the legs are very big. Oh, here's Bart, Bart Connor. No. Yeah, Bart Connor. Okay. I need some arms and legs, people. I'm going to have to go with bare arms and legs. Cars were not that cute. Let's just say that. Okay, there's some arms, but I don't like that. All right, I had those uh, watches, so maybe one of them will have a bunch of gold stuff on. They don't have shoes on. I tend to like shoes. See, I still like that look. I think I'm stuck in the 80s with my fashion. It's okay though, nobody cares. There's some arms. Those are big arms. There's two arms that don't necessarily... Oh, there's a body. Okay. It's going to be rough. Oh, what about that girl with the little black dress? Hold on. Does she have arms? She was back in this wrinkly part. Oh, she has great arms. Okay. So, those are good arms. Those are good arms. She's got legs. Oh, I got a pick. Oh, crap. I gotta go with these arms. I'm gonna take those legs. Well, at least we're in a better arm section. So what? I'm going to take that. I might do something with that. Okay. Let's go through what I have. I have a piece of paper that doesn't, that's going to be the back. Iffy things. I have these. I don't know what I'm doing with those. Could be a hat. Oh, we could make that a hat. That would be a cute hat. Okay. Um, we have, we have a lot of stuff. I'm going to make two on this. Uh, we have, I like her arms, and I could cut something off there and do their head, but I'm not sure yet what, we have her legs, in a pinch I could use her arms, I have her arms, I have this gold stuff, those dice, maybe this gold stuff, I have this tummy, I have these gold watches, her head, her 
her eyes, her head, background, background, this cup for a hat, this crazy person is not okay. This for the background, along with this, her eyes, and Susan Lucci. So I am going to go cut these out and I will be back. Okay, so we are going to start with this Cosmo. Here's all the stuff we have. I, I dug out a couple more things because I felt like I had a lot of um, bodies and not as many heads. And there's a lot of stuff in here. So we have, let's pull out the background stuff to start. We have this for the background. We have this for maybe another background. Um, we'll have to see how many we have to do. But for sure, where's the yellow stuff? Oh, there it is. I think there's more yet. Oh, here it is. Oh, and then there's this little piece. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. And let's, let's paint the background like a real pretty, I have scattered straw and lemonade. I'm sure that's lemonade, squeezed lemonade. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna do squeezed lemonade and this is distress paint, which you can use with water. You can use any kind of acrylic paint. I have tons of cheap acrylic paint. I am not saying you have to have fancy paint to do this. I just like distress paint the best. Let's do a teeny bit more. And then we're gonna do something super fun. And you don't have to stress out as much with the distress paint because it won't um, stiffen up in your brush. It doesn't have the fillers that hurt your brush. Okay, let's dry this off. I'm gonna use a heat tool. So now I got this amazing stencil. So I got a big Ouija stencil and a little Ouija stencil from this place called Stencil Revolution. I'll put a link to it in the bottom. But I thought it would be fun to put a Ouija board back here. And when I first seen it, they said they were gonna send it with, um, they donated it. They said they were gonna send it with um, a couple of different sizes. And I was like, I got this and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is giant. How am I going to use it? And then I'm like, oh my gosh, a giant stencil. That would be so fun to use in the back of the big collages, right? So we're going to do this. And I don't think it has to be per. In fact, I don't want it to be perfect. But it's like the back of a Ouija board or an Ouija board. <gasps> How fun is that? I'm totally in love. I think I'm going to have to cut it in half or I'm going to have to cut it up a little bit because I can't have a giant stencil. Like This is to make a wall sign, really. They sent me a little one too, which I'm sure you're going to see coming up. But look how cool that is. I adore that. Okay, good. We have the back done. Now let's think about, is this going to be wide enough? I have concerns. I think I want to cut this in half to go all the way across. Boop, boop, boop. I think this is going to be a super pretty one. All right, let's round off this other corner. And we can put this here. Kind of bridge that. 
And then we have this, which I worry won't be wide enough. So I think I want to take this part right here. Cut it out. There we go. Around here. And I think I can make, I think I can piece together the top with this extra bit from here. Right? So I'm gonna cut off this little part here. I'm gonna cut off this little part here. There we go. So that's gonna go there, that's gonna go there, and we're gonna put this guy in the middle. Like a thus, right? And it's gonna fill that in for us, sweet. Okay, we can go ahead and let's put this down first. And I use Nouveau Glue for 99% of my collages. And I think I seen we sold out Amazon or something like, I'm like, I know, we all love it. Okay, there we go. Now we want this one to come up and kind of cross that, just to be cute. And I'm going out to dinner with Josiah today because the Hubs is in Orlando with Desi. And it's just me and Josie home. Right now, his friends are here. Really nice boys. They are Kevin and Brian. They live down the street. I like them very much. Good kids. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, it looks a little higgledy-piggledy right now, but you'll be surprised. It'll look fine later. Okay, now let's put... So we only have to go over to here. Let's see how close to there we get, because I'm going to cut off that part. I just need kind of a tiny piece. Let's not waste this whole one. Let's glue this down. This is a candy one. All right, I'll put this piece down. And leave this up a little bit so I can tuck that other one underneath it. And I'm not even going to glue the whole part of this down. There we go. Nice. Okay. So now let's do, let's figure out how much we need. Let's do three of these. I think that'll get us the whole way up and down. feeling being not the bestest gluer in the world can we yeah see I don't always glue to the edge so we can just slide this right under there and nobody will ever know we're bad gluers right right there we go all right 
Let's do this one so we can glue that down. Oh, that's the back of the, the tapes where you can get 12 tapes for a dollar. <laughs> I love that. You know you did. If you're my age, you know you've gotten 12 tapes for a dollar, 12 records for a dollar, 12 cassettes for CDs for a dollar. We can glue this part down. There we go. And it's so fun. Tim Holtz had a video today, and then he was like, we're going to have an intermission, and then we're going to talk about something else. I'm like, no! I have to go see, or I get to go see Grandma Linda, because I love her. And, no! So, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna go out to dinner with Josie. And then I'm gonna watch the second Tim Holtz. Well, I think I glued that better. Gosh darn it. Okay, so, a couple things we can do when we glue down really good and we try to jury rig it, right? So, let's, it's kind of a, let's try to make a, Thing like that. Oh, that's really close. Okay, we need it to be a little bit more into it. It'll be fine. Nobody but you and me will ever notice. Nobody cares. We're going to have a crazy woman in the design. Okay, now we need to cut off a little bit of the point. And then we are gonna stop worrying about it and just glue this down. Because as Diane Reevely says, it's the background, cause it's in the background. There we go, nice. Okay, we need one more piece it looks like. Let's do that one. And I'm gonna have it stick out, maybe not quite so much. Oops, I love those. Let's see if we can't do something with them. <laughs> there we go, let's just get this stuck down. I'll try to be a better gluer than I usually am. Okay, sweet. Now, I have a lot of stuff. So, I have this head. I have this head. I have this I just cut out because it was so cool, a giant hand, but that's not for here. I have this bottle, which is gonna be the tummy. We have to figure out whose tummy it's gonna be. I almost feel like it's gonna have to be this girl because her head, she has a, giant melon okay so we have this gal do we want to give her a necklace we could give her a necklace that's kind of cute okay we have arms for her okay let's go ahead and cut her arms off I just keep them together till I get over here because I've lost arms before. Okay, so we could do her arms. Nice. We have legs. We have... I thought maybe we could make that her hair. So we have this dress. Do we have a hat? Okay, we do have a hat. So we have a hat, and I really like that hat. So we're gonna have to cut her head off. Do 
to make room for her hat. Okay. Let's get her legs off of here so we can figure this out. She's gonna have short legs. we do this and we do this and we give her a necklace and we have her head down here and we have room for her hat I almost feel like I want to give her a little face trim so we're gonna go right along here Wouldn't it be nice if it was that easy? And we could always go to the, that level of this. We have her hat. Let's cut this out to be her hair. Do I have other hair? I don't think I have other hair. No, I don't have other hair. Well, I do have Susan Lucci's head. I've whacked half of her hair off. I could use Susan Lucci. Oh, I could use Susan Lucci's head. And just cut, here, we're going to cut her neck off because we have a necky thing. Oh, that's better. She already has hair. Oh, I'm good. Glad. We'll do something with this gal some other day. Okay. There we go. We have Susan Lucci's head. We could even make her legs a teeny bit longer. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Now we have all kinds of fun. I was thinking we could do borders maybe with these... Um, watches. Would that be cute? Okay, so we know this is going to be our gal. We'll come back. We got to give her funny eyes, but this is going to be our gal. Let's work on our borders. Okay, so I thought it could be cute to do this, and we'll come in here so we don't mess up our little dancers too much. Let's glue that on. All right. So there's this side with a big gold border. Fancy. All right, I have another big gold border. Let's cut that off. And do we want to do this over here? I think I do to fix what could be a teeny little problem over there. Not anymore. Okay, that's fun. We're gonna put this right down to this edge. We're gonna come right up here. All right, now we can decide, do we kind of want to cut, I kind of want to cover up this Brock stuff that is so obviously a advertisement, which will be cool down here. Or do we want to see if we can go all the way across? I bet you we can. There we go. All right, and now we're gonna do this piece over here. I think my mom had a watch like that. 
This is cute. Dink, dink, dink. There we go. Now, I was thinking we could make with our scissors. Oh, we have all kinds of fun stuff. Hold on. We have, so this is going to go, I think Susan Lucci, this would be a bit much for her. I have these other two. I have these eyeballs that we're going to use on Susan Lucci, I believe. Or I could use this gal's. Oh, I almost think, no, let's keep her head. Do we do totally? Let's see. Well, those could be kind of cute. We're going to do that. All right. What is this? Oh, that's the end of her neck. We don't need that. This is going to be another lady for another time. This is going to be another body for another time. Look what I found. I thought I could do a skirt from this and a tummy from that. Here's a body. we got all kinds of fun bodies, but... Oh, here's some different legs that we could have used. Oh, do we want to use those? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, here's her tummy. Oh, I think we need the black legs to be more of a, you know, they stand out on this. And I'm going to have to color in the bottom of one of those feet because this footies got cut off. Okay, so let's, okay, the first thing I want to do with Susan Lucci is I want to cut her fringe so that we get to keep it. So see how she has like her little bangs here? We're going to cut those out like this. Okay, nice. So now when we put these eyeballs in here, she still has her little fringe. Okay, so number one, these are way too big and taking up too much room. So I leave a lot around my eyeballs until I'm ready to use them because you never know how much you're going to want. But for this, I don't need that many eyeballs. Even close. No. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, I want to cut this bottom part off even more. I can go a little bit. I like to keep some of their eyebrows because I'm not good at eyebrows and so that way I can make them. Oh, there we go. Cute. Okay, perfect. I like where we're at. Susan Lou, she's so pretty. She does not deserve this, but that's okay. It's all in the name of art, Susan. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so that's her. Let's find her hat. Where's her hat? Do you see it? Yell out if you see it. Oh, there's her hat. So that's going to go right up in here. Like at us little teacup hat. Everybody likes a teacup hat. Okay, now we have this, okay, so we have a bunch of beautiful things. 
So hold on before I get really attached to that as a necklace. We have a pair of dice. We have... Okay, that I don't need anymore. I don't love this. I don't need anymore. I have two baby wings, which are the babiest wings you've ever seen, which we might be able to build on with something, but they can't stand on their own. We have... Don't hate me because I'm beautiful to put on here. That's the name of this piece. That was an old saying in the 80s. Okay. So we could put this on her as her necklace. We could give her multiple layers of necklaces. Would those be necklai? <laughs> Do we think that, oh, we could give her a belt. <gasps> okay. So I think if we're going to do that, then this would be too matchy-matchy. Let's go ahead and put this guy on here right as a necklace it's really a pendant but we'll give her a necklace oh that's really cute one of the gals said she wished she dressed as good as my uh collage peeps and i have to say i agree they're very stylish i never remember to put on a necklace okay now we're going to give her a belt around her tummy and we're going to kind of go in the middle of both of these right that'll be cute watch out don't get stuck on there do we want to go over that yeah we'll go over that wording as you could tell, I wasn't really worried about it, but if we have a chance to cover some words, let's do that. I feel like I had more gold stuff. Sometimes I lose things. That's why I try never get to too attached to stuff in the bedroom. Because by the time I get over here, I will have lost it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Her belt is adorable. Adorable. Okay. So we can give her a kicky. I like a kicky leg. And we can totally give her a kicky leg. All right, so this, I feel like, has to kind of go right there. So we are going to do the top of Susan Lucci's head and leave the bottom open to figure out what we're doing, but we're going to get something down. I know usually I do it all as one person, but there's only so many places I can put her head because she's got a big melon. And I'm not going to tip it. I want her head to be straight and to be the feature. And then we'll figure out the bottom part of her body. Okay. That's fun. Okay, we can put the arms on these people. Do we want to do one of these guys? Do we want to do where we do... Oh, how cute is that? Do we want to do backward arms? What do I kind of do? Okay, so we're going to stick her arms on next. So if you flip their arms around, they it's, it's just another part of this doesn't look quite right, and I can't fig... Stop gluing your stuff on your stuff. Shiver. 
Um, it's just another one of those things where you go, this doesn't look quite right. Why doesn't this look right? And the whole thing doesn't look right because you've glued everybody, their arms on the wrong way, their heads on the, you know, perfume bottles and all that. Okay, so do we want to, so I do want a kicky leg. That was a terrible gluer down here. Okay, so I definitely want a kicky leg, so I can just put that on there. And then we just have to figure out how long this leg down here is gonna be, because this is gonna be like she's standing on. Ooh, we'll put it right in the middle of there, perfect. Okay, here we go. All right, I feel like I can glue this leg down. This is very much not how I usually make my people, but I have an idea, like, it's so funny. There's sometimes I make this and I'm just kind of putting everything together and trying to figure it out and I don't really know what I'm doing. And there's other times when I kind of have it in my head and I know what I'm gonna do. And then I just come in here and I try to figure it out. And this is one of those times when I really kind of knew what I wanted. Let's see. I think I'm gonna, oh, hold on. Right there. Anyways, I kind of knew in my head what was going to happen. And then I just come in here and I make it. So that's really different. So sometimes, like with the unicorn girl, I don't know if I've posted that yet. But I saw this girl on a horse and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can picture the whole unicorn girl in my head, done what I'm going to do, blah, blah, blah. And then it just gets done because I know um, exactly what I want to accomplish. Unlike here, where I kind of knew, I kind of knew how I was going to put this together, but then the Susie Luch Susan Lucci had helped, but I kind of knew the timey and everything else. Does that make sense? I hope so. So she has a very round tummy. She's not a skinny girl. Boy, my mother-in-law, she has dementia. And she really does not like overweight people. And she says mean things to me and to other people. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's so hard. It's so hard when you have a family member who isn't in their right mind. And I could tell her, but then she would forget in a little bit. So I am size inclusive, body inclusive. You can have a chubby um, medicine bottle. You can have, you can be a skinny model girl with a skinny bottle. I think we should all just be friends. But we are size inclusive magazine collagers here. Okay. Uh-oh. What did I rip off? Uh-oh. I ripped something off. Okay. Let's see what we have. We have these guys, we have this guy. I know I had some more of these. You can't fool me, but they're gone. Okay, now we have to fit. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful into our collage because I am going to use words on this one.
Okay, because I'm beautiful, it's going to have to be down there. And we can squeeze because right there. So that's that's where that's going. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. This is so fun. Okay. And if you don't know, that was a tagline for a shampoo or a makeup in the 80s. Oh, I could even cut a little bit more off that side. Hold on. There we go. Cute. Cute. Okay. Here we go. So we have don't Okay, I'm going to cut all of these apart. Oop, the me has too much on top. Okay, I don't like... Okay, see this one? How, um... Like, I could cut into the hate in here right but i don't like up and down i like square but that me didn't have any other part of it so we can do i'm gonna put don't right up here in this little space here and then we'll just space the rest of it out don't hate me because I'm beautiful. And I have Maxie in here, the little dog. But Wally's hanging out with the boys. Wally thinks it's so cool that the boys like him and they'll hang out with him. He just thinks he's the slickest thing. He's like, I have friends, mom, I have friends. Okay, let's see. Now we have two little wings. Oh, I want to put little wings on her. They're the babiest wings I've ever seen. They are not, like usually we put on big old wings on them, but look, hold on, wait till you see this. Boop, little tiny wing there. We'll put a little tiny wing over here. This is funny. This just makes me laugh. And that other little wing will fit right there. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. Okay. Now, do we want to put a little, like a little collage thing on the brim of her hat? Like as if, let's do it this way. Let's see what happens this way. Oh, I think that takes away from it. Okay. Do we want to put little circles around here? What is happening? Oh, <laughs> I glued it to my table. Okay, we could outline her there. Ooh, you know what we could do? We could give her a little zhuzh on her hat brim. That would be cute right here. So I just need one more link taken off. There we go. That's cute. Okay, right around her, her drink stem. All right. 
do we want to put a couple of dice? I don't want to put them in there. I don't think that looks cute. Do we want to hang them? I don't love that. I think I'm going to... I think that's trying too hard. We're only going to do things that we really love. Now, we could do half seas of these down here. I kind of want to do that. Just get a little more fun going. Okay. And there's a lot of gold in here, so I think it'll look pretty. We are going to glue this around here. I don't know if I'll outline it or anything, but it will be there. Just a fun layer. There we go. And then let's do these down this side. It's just things we can doodle around if we feel like it. Oh, good. This will help the end of that not look so weird. Give it a place to go, right? And I have this one right there. And this one can go right kind of over that watch face to break it up so it doesn't look so much like a watch face. Isn't it amazing how much that just immediately changed the appearance of that? Okay, so. Now we're going to cut right along this edge line because then we may have to glue some more stuff down because I'm not your best edge gluer. Oh, that looks cute. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm going to work on doodling this tonight and I will be back. I love how this one turned out. Things I did last night. I outlined Don't Hate Me Because I'm Beautiful. I painted this. So it's so funny. I painted yellow on there. And when I painted yellow, it turned the kind of whitish gray cup almost a purple color. So I used India ink pot, uh, pit pens to put more purple on there. And then all of a sudden it was purple and lavender. I'm like, oh my goodness. I didn't paint any of the outsides. They just turned purple and lavender. Outlined the side. Did the checkies all around. Painted her hair. Did her eyes. Little bit bigger. Not totally bigger, but a little bit bigger. Because they were already so looking the other way. Uh, did her lips. Dot dash and pos or pit pen around the outside, painted here. Ooh, painted her tummy, so I painted her stripes and then shaded them and painted those. Uh, circles, I outlined in black. It, it Outlining stuff, like here I outlined um, those stripes in black, and there I outlined those circles in black, even though you can't tell. Outlining, um, oh, here, I outlined all of those. Outlining really helps define it and make it look like it belongs. Um, so that is it. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.